So are we after some smallmouth now? Yeah, we'll see if we can catch a couple up by the falls here by Voyager. What's your general plan when you go after smallies? See, we've got dark water and rocks. And... Yeah, today we're just going to try to work a live bait rig with a weight, kind of weight a leech down to the bottom and see if some of them will take it. So, where do you, uh, if you're out in a new spot, what kind of structure or shapes or whatever it is that you look for that typically hides smallmouth? Uh, a lot of times up here it's just off some of the points and stuff, 8 or 10 feet of water. Uh, generally tends to be a general midsummer spots. Okay. So we'll see if we can, you know, usually wherever you're kind of windstruck you see if you can get them at. So right here we're kind of where, uh, where an inlet comes into uh, Gall Lakes and usually this moving water will kind of attract some fish so we'll see if there's some smallies. Why, maybe why some... does it attract the fish? Uh, it's just a little bit colder there's a little bit more oxygen in the water and uh, there's usually forage coming over for them to eat so a couple of different reasons but they'll hold to the water. Okay so what are water. what are you setting up with now? What's your preferred? Uh, so right here I've got just like uh, kind of like an egg weight to a barrel swivel and at the end of that I've just got a small hook with a leech and we're just going to kind of bring that along the bottom and See if the live bait will catch some fish. Did you expect to catch all three on the same style, the same style of fishing off the bottom like you're doing now? Uh, yeah, the northerns you kind of catch doing everything. Um, usually the only difference between the small eye, smallmouth and the walleye is that you're a little bit deeper for the walleyes, but same kind of techniques. Well, smallmouth tend to be suspended. Uh, do, do, do you think of it as distance from the top or as a certain distance off the bottom? Uh, usually just depth. Um, so they're usually both somewhat close to the bottom. The smallmouth will usually come up more, but uh, smallmouth are usually eight or ten feet of water. Walleye are you know deeper than that, depending okay. on the time of year. So when you uh, find yourself out of live bait and you reach for your tackle box, what do you go for in your tackle box? For, um, as far as artificial. A lot of like Rapalas and stuff work really well. Um, yeah. Otherwise, there's a lot of stuff like this, the Smithwick Rogue, um, they work pretty well. Um, poppers and stuff like that can work really well for uh, smallmouth. Poppers? Something like that, work really well in the evening time. Um, and other than that, just a lot of, a lot of you know, standard Rapala type crankbaits work really well. Okay. Or spoons for northerns. Okay, those red and white striped spoons? Yep, definitely. Oh, yeah, it's as old as the hills. Yes, it is. <laughs> So when you put a jig on and a jig head, do you use any tube jigs or anything like that? Um, I usually use live bait. Um, in the Quetico up here, you're not allowed to use live bait. Um, so there, there's stuff that Berkeley makes called Berkeley Alive, which is kind of a good alternative. But uh, generally, if I have it, live bait seems to work the best. 